What is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at comeback of resurrection remix after like i don't know how many months because they took their time in refining the experience for the android 8.1 as the codes were changed a lot and then again they wanted to ensure the stability of their roms and if you have not heard about this os which i don't know what kind of rock you are living under please let me know in the comment section below if you have any kind of custom rom such as lineage os or any kind of aosp rom your device must be having a resurrection remix well if your device has kernel sources released for android oreo you must be having resurrection remix oreo for your device i will leave a link in the description for the official site but there may be unofficial builds for your device cause literally all the devices that i own have resurrection remix my mi1 redmi note 4 redmi note 3 u euphoria grand prime and most of them are running resurrection remix oreo but as android is free this rom is also absolutely free so just clap for the developers who are maintaining these roms for your devices so here it is this is how your home screen looks there is some yellow and blue shade over here and again if you scroll up you have trash budget launcher which is again updated to the latest pixel one then again if you go to the settings you get grid size icon pack and more if you go to more you have quite a lot of options over here when compared to the last version such as icon shape for circle square and the normal things that you like and then there are just normal android 8.1 features such as improved shortcuts where you can actually change the icon and the name of it then again your adaptive ui where it changes colors based on the wallpaper so let's just hop on the settings where all the magic happens you have search settings and then again just the normal stuff Let's go to the system. You have all the lineage OS features over here, such as your gesture system profiles. Going to the about phone, RR version 6.0, just the first builds. Then again, you have Android version 8.1.0. And then, in terms of security, if your device is quite lucky enough, for example, my Redmi Note 4, for unofficial builds, you might also get a bit enhanced face unlock. But for official builds, they have not implemented as if yet, cause yeah, you can bypass it easily. But let's just get to the normal settings, such as your display. Then, you also have live display, which is much more advanced. For example, that we see in mi a1 where you can not just control the u of it but the saturation contrast and the intensity of it which i really like so let's just go to the configurations in most of the roms you would have seen there are just list and all of the roms just look the same such as nitrogen os then again cosmic as this is a resurrection remix you get your normal tabs as of the nougat and marshmallow but you can always change it around by pressing this then you can just quickly toggle it to the classic now as we are in the configurations this would take just a whole lot of time if i would explain every single feature so i'm just going to be telling you some of the coolest features of resurrection remix i might be repeating myself because i seriously don't recommend resurrection remix for for daily usage my choice would be lineage os or the pixel experience so if i say that any feature is newer which was present in android no cut i'm just sorry so let's just start with the status bar here you get your clock and date your network traffic where you can adjust every single thing about it like later you can change the size in lifetime which is just amazing and then again the font that resurrection remix uses it's very different than your normal stock android it's extremely sharp which i really like then again, you have your date format, pretty cool. You have resurrection remix brand logo. Let's just keep it on the right. I like it. Then you have battery indicator where you can also enable battery bar, change animation for it, the thickness. This will look extremely beautiful on the Mi Mix 2. You have custom logo system icons, which are again normal stuff where you can just toggle around between LT and Volt icons. Then you have system tuner. Going to the panels, you can adjust all sorts of panels such as your power menu. Then again, volume panel. For example, as we get a newer power menu in Android 8.1, I have just completely darkened it out. Just just like iOS looks extremely nice then again we can also add some custom headers to our status bar but it just doesn't look good as if right now as we expand it you have quick settings where you can adjust the quick pull down tile layout which are again normal stuff carried over from android marshmallow and nougat i really like as i've adjusted it for 4x4 and it looks perfect on my 5.5 inch display then again i have advanced features such as easy add tile just like pixel experience where you don't have to move every single icon if you want to just add them in bulk you can just tap it around you have recents where you can choose where the clear all button stays let's just make it like samsung bottom center then you have general ui where you can adjust whether you want a memory bar then again you have resets icon pack yes but it looks pretty nice as you can see i also added a blur at the back there is my free ram bar there is the clear all button which we just adjusted and then you again have an option for slim resets yes there is still no omni switch but i guess that would be added in the later additions here is what you get just right now Coming to the interface, here are all the display settings that you like, such as adjusting your DPI from developer options, your display size, blur personalization, such as your status bar. Again, looks pretty nice as it's already transparent in Android 8.1. Then you have blur scale and radius for it. Then you have theming, which doesn't carry a lot of stuff, which I'm quite surprised about as Android 8.0 supports systemless themes. You can add a bunch of stuff over here, but just right now you get automatic, which is wallpaper based as it has a newer wallpaper API. And then again, your light and dark, which you can always force on, for example, like this. 
and then again if you scroll down you have screenshot options call expanded desktop which you can all toggle with the quick settings panel but if you go to miscellaneous you have wake on plug show floating button three finger screenshot just like oppo sensor block per package yes going to the lock screen it's just the same old story you can adjust the clock or you can just disable everything that you like for example like this you can just make it completely plain going to the buttons you just have your option for hardware keys like prevent accidental touches then again pocket detection which is nothing new going to the navigation bar you have a navigation bar which is not animated as a pixel one but surely looks quite nice if you have a device like a oneplus 5t or a uu euphoria this would be helpful as it has all sorts of options such as height adjusting and weight then you have animations which i surely don't like cause most of them are just extremely slow such as your system animations then again screen off is pretty good i like crt for example like this then you have system wide gestures for example if i just scroll from right i can switch around with any kind of app that i like pretty easy then again if i just wanted to enable night light i can just draw the gesture that i have saved there you go again if i want to enable camera i can just do that easily and the rom is pretty quick to be honest and you can always customize all of the things about it you also get pie control which i'm not a huge fan of but if you have a navigation based device again you can swipe up from the bottom and just keep it as your normal navigation method then again going to the miscellaneous you have some of the amazing features such as switching to 2g and disable gps when your phone screen is off which are extremely battery friendly features and i really like that and just in about you have credits and all other stuff so as all of that is done let's just come to the quick settings panel cause there are a lot of toggles over here so let's just drag it down there are your normal quick settings let's just expand it and there you go well the first three rows are just the normal ones but then there are the resurrection remix ones for example you have live track list if you are playing anything in the background such as a youtube video or any kind of media you can just control it right over here then again you have your old school compass where you can just toggle it anytime you like then you have the rr settings you can directly reboot to the recovery or or just your normal restart adb or network for developers then you have screenshot and partial screenshot so you can actually touch to toggle it and if you want to take a screenshot like this you can just hold it on and then just drag the portion that you want to screenshot this is an old school trick but still counts then you can quickly switch the whole system language for example i have set my second language for hindi so let's just tap it and the whole rom just becomes hindi there you go complete hindi just amazing this should be in normal stock and road then again i can quickly switch it around with english no issues at all then you have pi control night light and and then you get picture in picture which used to work with nitrogen os but i guess youtube app has been patched that it only works with youtube red and your normal apps such as chrome duo or the newer ones which are supporting now you're seeing screen recorder which is built in now you can just tap to adjust the quality of it such as low quality medium and high you can hold it to just start the recording pretty neat feature then your ambient display which lights up your display whenever you receive a notification you have volume panel weather your normal and expanded mode this would be helpful for the devices which have nav bar where you can just expand it anytime that you like and then you get a full screen ui just like this and that's pretty much it for the resurrection remix oreo i hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more videos like this please let me know in the comment section below and see you in the next one peace